We know that hormones can have a lot to do with how we feel every day. Progesterone is a naturally occurring and very important female sex hormone. Progesterone also has a lot to do with men's hormonal balances. Who knew that? <laughs> well, here to explain the importance of progesterone is for all of us is Dr. Jenny Wilkins from Age Vital Pharmacy. Oh, we're so glad to have you here. Progesterone, what yes. is it? Well, progesterone is, well, in the medical field, it's known as the pregnancy hormone. And then when a lot of women can't get pregnant, it's because they don't have enough progesterone. And often women will go to their reproductive endocrinologist and get progesterone injections to just help you know, thicken the lining of the uterus, oh, and they wow. can hold a pregnancy to term. Otherwise, you have miscarriages. Mm -hmm. But progesterone's also for men as well. I, I call it the anti-cancer hormone. Because oh, wow. everything, That's an one. yeah, so anytime you have cancer cells growing because of too much estrogen, I know we talked last week about estrogen mm -hmm. dominance, progesterone counterbalances that. So it gets rid of the prostate cancer for guys, it shrinks the tumors oh, wow. in uh, ovarian tumors or breast tissue or fibroids, things like that. It's so important and supposed to take in big pharmaceutical drugs or going in and doing an invasive, you know, radiation or ablations. The first thing that you would want to do is actually check to see where your progesterone levels are. And most often when you give a female progesterone, those fibroids go away and oh. they don't have to have an invasive surgery anymore and it's something so little like this little molecule that's a hormone progesterone but it also plays you know other roles with symptoms you know with uh, men and for females a lot of the important symptoms for men um, guys would have erectile dysfunction if they don't have enough progesterone or they will have um, uh, symptoms of gynecomastia so the man boobs wow. I know <laughs> a lot that of people know because they're like what is that <laughs> um, they have weight gain and fatigue so if you get you know don't have enough progesterone you get that pot belly guys usually look like they're seven months pregnant but they never give birth because they don't have enough progesterone in their body to get rid of all of that excess oh, cortisol wow. and with women it's the you know the fat usually goes around in the hips if they don't have enough progesterone they get the cottage cheese type dimply bottom that we don't like or the flabby arms that we don't like so just taking a little this bit progesterone yeah it's a very important hormone so if you look like that then you might check your progesterone yeah right check <laughs> your progesterone well when you're having symptoms like that gallbladder issues irregular menstrual cycles for women weight gain uh, PMS huge I call it the anti you know PMS uh, pill cream for females so if you're like just really irritable and agitated and everybody's aggravating you in your life it's progesterone, it so instead not of taking a volume, <laughs> right? Instead of taking a volume, you take progesterone, and that is just like, meh. I don't care. Yeah, Do what you want, babe. Oh. You know? <laughs> what kind of product is this? Tell us about those products. Yeah, really. If there's one thing we've learned over the past couple of weeks with both estrogen and progesterone, and that these hormones, it's really important to check your levels because it can have a huge Absolutely. impact on your well-being. Yeah, you need to look at those ratios, and it's everything in our environment, you know, doesn't support our hormonal structure in our body. So okay. our foods, and there's there's really no way around it except for supplementing. And supplementing could be through injections, it can be through trochies. I know my women love these trochies. They, it tastes like a, what's like a, a hall, what's a trochee? Yeah. hall's lozenge, you okay. know, and you just suck on it, you know, right before you go to bed. Oh, did I mention progesterone helps you to go to sleep? So oh, if you have okay. trouble turning off your brain at night, you take a little bit of progesterone, and it's like, mm, lights out. And you wake up just like hmm. totally refreshed and not irritable agitated. What angry. about a test for it? A test, yep, simple saliva test or a finger prick or you can go to oh. a doctor, they can do a blood plasma. So if you just did progesterone by itself, it would be around $45, $50. Now most insurances cover a whole endocrine panel okay. and TRICARE Medicare pays 100% of these tests and then wow. if you wanted to do progesterone and estrogen ratio, it would be around $90. Wow. But yeah, most insurances do cover it. You would pay maximum maybe about $150 to look at all the hormones. But when you look at those symptoms, it would yeah, be well, it's so yeah. important. So I like my flat belly. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I like that too. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much, Dr. Jenny. You can go down and talk to her. She's on Main Street at H Vital Pharmacy, or you can go to hvital.com and get all the information. And we'll be back with a Disney treat. This mm. sounds good. Another yeah. one. Can we eat it? <laughs> <laughs>